Hey, Joe White here with uh, Mossy Oak. Um, this past January, myself and Rusty McDaniels headed to Western Oklahoma for a late season bow hunt. Anybody who's ever hunted whitetails knows that late season, you have to deal with two factors. A lot of whitetail coming to one location and coming from a lot of different directions. This particular spot that we keyed in on for Captain Hook was a big drain that set off in the middle of the Western Oklahoma Sage Flats and these deer were staging in this big bowl before they would head up and go to the wheat fields right at dark. So we knew there was gonna be a lot of deer staging in this particular bottom. Anybody who knows if you're hunting in the evening time around a bottom, you got a whole bunch of thermals. And this was just a big bowl in here where a big, where the deer were coming out of their bedding area down in the canyon and headed to a big wheat field up on top. So it wasn't the most ideal conditions, uh, but it was the only place that we could put a ground blind and be able to stay undetected. Our whole mission here with the way the trail camera pictures was, was keeping Captain Hook coming in there every day. We knew we probably had one shot to move in on this big deer and get him with a bow. Unfortunately, what happened, Captain Hook read the script along with probably 10 or 15 other deer. This little bottom filled up, and but Captain Hook stayed just a little bit out of bow range. So darkness came and we had to ease back out of there. Over the course of the next two to three days, Captain Hook showed up every single night. For three out of the four nights, we could never get him within bow range. And it's crazy to think that without good products, good camo, this spot would not work because we'd already been in there four times. Finally, on our fourth trip in, Captain Hook came in and we made a successful shot. The key to this hunt was actually staying undetected with so many deer coming in there. I don't know of any product on the market that would have allowed you to do this other than scent lock technology. It's asking a lot to make one trip in on a big whitetail, but to know that we did it three out of four nights lets you know how impressive scent lock technology is when it comes to hunting big whitetails.